Hey Dom, this is David Sai. Today I want to get into a moment where people believe V cursed out a staff member. I wanted to get into the V and Jenny pick and why people believe a staff member leaked it and I wanted to get into the new J-Hope Arson music video teaser. So hey there or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on, grab your dumpling, teaspoon mug merch and let's get into it. The first thing we need to talk about is the J-Hope Arson music video teaser that just dropped. J-Hope said I'm about to release a hot video, both H-O-T and H-O-T. H -A -W -T. We are literally just a day away from the official music video being dropped and I'm very excited. I will be reacting to it on my Patreon probably first thing in the morning so if you want to join me and Fangirl together I'll link my Patreon below in the description. I think more was such a great release but I don't think we have seen anything yet. They typically will save the best song for the big moment and since Arson is going to be released alongside the album I think this can even be better than more. Now a couple of things we need to go over. First off, please go pre-order the album if you have not already. If you decide to pre-order the day of, you can definitely do that, but it's definitely best to do it before. The moment it gets officially released, it can shoot right up to number one as all the pre-orders will be tallied at that moment. So armies have new teaser view goals. I don't know specifically what they are, but stream the teaser, I guess. I don't know if this will do much in terms of chart rankings, but it definitely does help J-Hope out. The teaser looked very good and very cool with the concept photos. We knew that we were we're definitely going to get something involving fire and something very dark as this has been the theme. It sounds like he will continue with the punk rock vibe but this one sounds a bit more like Hope World. There seem to be a lot of hidden meaning within the concept photos itself and so people are expecting more meaningful stuff in both the teaser and the music video. There was a bit of concern with the release of the concept photos and the teaser. Since J-Hope was burning an old car in the photos and the teaser was entirely that too, we saw what we can assume is J-Hope running through the scene as the car explodes and it's just very cool. The concern went around if J-Hope was actually safe and if he was scared to do this. When the concept photos were dropped, J-Hope spent some time on Weavers to talk to everyone and address some comments. He talked about how he was feeling going to perform at Lollapalooza and he mentioned how nervous he was. It didn't take long before an army asked how he felt about standing in front of a burning car and if that was scary for him. I can imagine it would be something of concern as if the car car had the engine in it still or any oil left it could probably explode but it seemed like they really hollowed out the car in the photo. There probably wasn't anything actually dangerous in the car itself. J-Hope responded saying that it was fine and he actually liked it because it was nice and warm to stand next to it. Of course when the teaser dropped this was also a concern because the car was actually exploding but there was no need for concern here as this is something that is done by professionals all the time in movies and shows and the person that's running by on the screen could literally be a stunt double. And there's precautions taken for the artist's safety when doing things like this. In entertainment, there's something called AFM, which is predominantly an American thing, but other countries have their own versions of this. AFM stands for American Federation of Musicians. I don't know too much about this union, but it's apparently similar to SAG, the Screen Actors Guild, where the union has a lot of power, and if they notice things like unfair wages or bad working conditions, they literally have the power to shut down production. And most big productions that have big celebrities need to partake in the union. So just things like that ensure that an artist is safe, even if they're standing next to fire. In fact, these unions can even be annoying for the artist, not just the production crew. Let's say J-Hope had a specific image in mind, like standing on top of a car that is on fire, the union will not allow for that. So if anyone was concerned over an injury on set, he is okay and that is nothing to be too worried about. There's been an older clip that had resurfaced and specific clips that had had talked about a moment where V was at an award show. There was a moment where the staff had come up to all of the members of BTS and handed them water. A fan had recorded that moment and noticed that the staff only brought six water bottles. V at the time was waving at armies and did not look at the staff who brought the bottles. The clip was apparently edited to make it appear like V was mad at the staff and upset that he had only brought six bottles and there wasn't enough for everyone. People were talking about the fact that he appeared to have been been saying something as him cursing out the staff. This is a very interesting assumption and very much jumping the gun without any evidence. We can't actually hear anything that V is saying and I just doubt any of the members would be upset over something like this. My mom would describe a behavior that these haters are describing as a person with a very small heart. Like they aren't open and they take everything so personally, which we will get into that in a moment. But I just doubt that someone who is cultured and as well traveled and smart would be upset over something like this. 
If he wanted some water, he could have easily asked for another one. The carrier that the staff had only fit six, so he could only bring six at a time. And here's to say that all the members wanted water. Some don't or have their own. That's like being upset that the waiter brought out your friend's food first before bringing out yours. It's like, who cares? But other than that, the clips just seem to be edited poorly. He could have been speaking with someone else, and it was just a weird assumption to jump to to say that he was cursing. It seemed like it was just someone who wanted to take V down and hated him, so they decided to make up this narrative. I don't think that many people believe it. The most frustrating thing that I see about being a celebrity of their caliber is that people will try very hard to take them down, and they will just throw things at the wall. Like, they'll try everything, and eventually they know that one of those things will work, and so they keep looking for things. We live in a takedown culture, and it literally does not end until the celebrity decides they want to retire and not do this anymore. And then the conversation becomes they couldn't maintain their fame. Not that they just wanted to have a chill life. After the more recent V car vlog was dropped, people had some comments to say about this. People were comparing the photo that started it all, the V and Jenny photo, and showing the car that was in that photo and comparing it to the car in the V car vlog video, saying that it was obviously not the same car, and then comparing the features of both cars. I believe for a long time and still believe that the Jenny and V photo is photoshopped. I believe it was a In the Soup or Bon Voyage clip that originally was with V and J-Hope, and J-Hope was just just edit it out. However, I do think it's weird that the argument has become comparing the two cars. In the rumor, it was led that the photo was taken in Jeju and V had flown over there. That was mentioned by a few army who apparently had seen him fly over. So he probably didn't bring his car, in which case the car in the photoshopped photo, even if the photo was real, would not be his own car, but probably one that he had rented out. Either way, it makes no sense to compare the car in that photo to the car in the car vlog. But the car vlog did spark this debate again and people were even wondering if the initial V and Jenny photo was real and if it was just leaked by staff. Again, comparing something that makes no sense to me. Comparing just the fact that V was driving and then V was driving in the V and Jenny photo, like that was enough to prove that this photo was real. Apparently, the only time he has ever driven was in Jeju and it was caught on camera and he was apparently with Jenny. V isn't even wearing the same shirt in the photo compared to the vlog. I think at this point he went home and burned that shirt because now every time he would make an appearance wearing that shirt this rumor would recirculate. However the staff at the label have never come out and specifically said anything and the labels have kept very quiet over the alleged rumors and some people believe that maybe someone was fired because of this or whatever but I think this was just something that maybe was a fan edit and that it was submitted to like 50,000 news stations to which it was picked up by a news site and then went viral. Truthfully I don't know how much of these conspiracies I believe of Hybe or of YG, curating this rumor or covering up other scandals, there had always been several rumors and theories in the past that stalkers or haters would try to get a job working at Hybe and then try to ruin the boy's reputation. And then that Hybe should fire and redo background checks on these people. This rumor or theory came out when so many very private moments that no one would normally catch or paparazzi wouldn't even catch would be leaked. And the only way they would even get these private moments is if they were in private moments with BTS. But this is all just a conspiracy and I think Hive has a way to vet these people who they hire. But also, if you're someone who tries to get a job just to take down an artist and just spend hours trying to take someone down, you need serious psychological help. Focus on your life and do something that makes your life better and will actually help you. Being so bothered by someone that doesn't even know who you are is not actually healthy. So what do you think? Do you think that the photo was leaked or curated by a staff member and that they got fired? What do you think of the alleged rumors of V mad at a staff member? Obviously, I think it's poorly edited. And were you concerned over J-Hope getting injured on the arson set? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you to the lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.